Hello and welcome back to more Mass Effect 2, where we're going to be doing more space exploration. Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3. The Omega thing has me, has me uh, confused. But yes, Mass Effect 3, where we're going to do more space exploration. To find more interesting hidden things throughout this galaxy. Yes, there's a lot of uh, stuff we might need to have a look on. Like these systems, like this is... Yeah, I think a lot of systems are not entirely explored yet. So that's definitely worth a look. Let's start with this Pylos Nebula. That seems uh, so far in. Well, we'll check out that later. We know we have a job there, but first, uh, yeah, some unknown sectors or not entirely uh, explored sectors at least. Because over here, we which sector is not entirely explored? Ah, the one over there. Alrighty then. Okay, what type of systems do we have here? Let's go for the central planets first. Nothing there. There is something here, though. Strontium Mule. Didn't we already do something? I found with something. Okay, yes. Cerberus Traitor. Strontium Mule. Oh, we get a lot of credits. Strontium Mule class. Police intelligence report that the servers captured subsequently repurposed freight as used as a troop transport. Such vehicles are extremely common in Citadel space and its generic appearance, and forged credentials allowed it to loiter near Citadel systems. When the coup began, it was moved to deliver lethal cargo of Atlas Max and Cerberus soldiers. And we stopped that, I guess? Cool. Is there more stuff here? I think that was all the stuff here. So we at least got a bunch of credits out of that. That's nice. Might need to refuel in the... Uh, around Omega there. Yeah, that 100%'s that. Let's go to the homunculus cluster first. Ah, this is a small one, so that is fine. No. No sign here so far. There doesn't seem to be much here of particular interest. Okay, there's nothing here just yet to explore. So I guess we can go to another sector first. Secrets Crater is only at 50%. Let's have a look there. Commander, not everything in this system was destroyed. We may recover something. Whoop. Hello. Well, free fuel at least. I mean, it looks like that is everything. Let's not risk Angry Reapers for now. Let's go to the mill sector, see what they got there. Signal confirmed. No Reaper tension, that surprises me. Shall cause is notable for being few garden worlds. Okay. What do we find here today? Husk neural map. That sounds somewhat interesting sciencey stuff. And at least somewhat worthwhile. And that should be everything in this system. Let's move on. To Lanal. How banal? How Lanal? <laughs> Found something. Okay. Ah, here there's Reapers watching. There's always Reapers watching. So what will we find on this lovely little little yellow blue planet? Dexter rations. Okay, Gareth's gotta be happy with that. Why did we find it here? This is a farmer's world, I guess. Okay, that makes sense. 
apparently there's nothing else here, so skipping once again away from this system. Should we have enough to reach, hopefully. Should maybe just be enough to handle every stuff here. No things popping up, so I guess that's it. Yeah, it seems to be that that was all there was here. Okay. So we are going to be refueling quickly in Omega. And then let's see what else we got. Titan Nebula, that is new, let's go and visit. Doesn't seem like uh, anyone has been there just yet. Rogue Planet. Signal confirmed. Those are usually quite cool. Like literally, they're usually very cold and only live for volcanic activity, I believe. So they don't necessarily orbit the sun and everything. Hanan Kadar Max. Ymir Max. Oh, those are actually quite a bit better than the old Max. Very nice. Alright, let's go to the rogue planet. Yeah, that's without a sun, so I that is something. indeed a rogue planet. Drifting in a Tiber Nebula is a terrestrial planet. Curiously, despite having its designation relation on the galaxy map, no information about the planetary conditions have been logged into Citadel database. Normally scans have filled in some of the gaps left by the exploration probes, revealing enticing clues about its nature. The atmosphere is noxious, but there's evidence that life once thrived here. More than that. Scatter evidence that it was once colonized. That definitely deserves some scanning. Not landing, though, probably not landing. After leaving Haskins, the Normandy suddenly drops out of FTL. Chief Engineer Adams uh, explains that the Tantalus Drive Corps has experience of faults that requires immediately static discharge. After a LADAR scan, you set the course towards the nearest stellar object. As the uh, as the destination drifts into view, you realize that it's a rogue planet, a world in perpetual darkness, lost and alone in the void between the stars. Citadel Galactic Database listed as TN347, but curiously, no information was locked about the planet. As you give the order to set the Normandy down, trainer detects a weak energy signal in the normal hemisphere. You decide to investigate the anomaly. Okay. The planet is extremely dangerous with a toxic atmosphere and temperatures that dip below minus 200 degrees Celsius. Stone bottles, uh, buttes, stone buttes, stone butts, stone butts dots the horizon. But as you draw closer, you realize that they are crumbling remains of arcologies, a civilization unfathomably ancient once thrived on this hostile world. In time, you explore a cavern, a cavern haunted uh, by four effigies, each tortured into abstraction by noxious gases. What these sentinels were lost to time, what, what, what these sentinels were, is lost to time. But they appear to watch over an energy shield shaped like a dodecahedron. It hides something deep within. Your presence uh, provokes a hologram to appear. Time has distorted the avatar, and its speech is incomprehensible. Perhaps you are inter misinterpreting, but it appears to be warning you away. Yet mysterious shield intrigues you. Who placed it there, and why? Deactivate the shields, definitely. Oh, actually, that's risk. Uh, do you risk? Yeah. Yeah, deactivate the shields. That can't possibly go wrong. Using your Omni tool, you hack into the ancient console and begin to the de deactivation sequence. 
Room shadows as a power is diverted, uh, diverted from the console to other systems. Lights haven't turned on in centuries. Throb as the shield collapses. A quick scan detects a small object on the floor. The same object it was held within the shield. It's an egg shaped that holds fluid within its clear shell. Curious about its contents, you take, uh, take it back to analyze. After studying the object, Dr. Chakras reveals that there's something truly remarkable. Embryotic fluids containing the fertilized embryos of an alien species, possibly the last genetic evidence that they ever had existed. Together with ED, she has uh, used the genetic structure to create a holographic representation of the species appearance. With a few taps on her omni tool, she calls up a hollow for the bipedal. It is more bizarre than you expect, an, utter alien to, uh, an utterly alien to the species you've already met in your travels. Dr. Chakwas cannot guess why the aliens left the DNA, their DNA in stasis, but she feels that their DNA might prove useful to the medical industry. On the other hand, perhaps we should have, it should be preserved for prosperity. What do you think? Uh, yeah, protect the embryos, keep it uh, for ourselves. Like, that seems like a mystery we want to hang on to. That's interesting. Cool bit of adventure, though. So, that was the Titan Nebula thingy. Yep. Yeah. So, next up. Hourglass Nebula? Or Rosetta? Rosetta Nebula we explored. You know what, Hourglass, uh, let's stick actually to the rim. Let's go to uh, the Valhalla Threshold. And then to uh, the Shrek Abyss thingy. Yeah. Hopefully we have enough fuel. Ah, we still have plenty of fuel. Whoa, this is bright. I... Oh, shit! Ah! Uh, What's this? Melanel Station. Grayson has planted. I think this is something from the book, but I'm a little bit stressed out by bloody Reapers! Evasion successful. Yeah. There's nothing of interest there. Run away. Lots of war, but, uh, you know, with angry we Reapers. Suggest we keep an eye out here for anything that can assist with the Crucible. Okay. Signal confirmed. Well, that's two things. And Reapers, are, apparently the Reapers are very watchful in these systems. This is very pink. Pink gas. Too much pink gas is dangerous. Emergency fuel pots. I could use some of those. Now what is in that other thing? There's apparently three things we can find here, and we have found two. I'm on zero core. Yields. Okay. Can we do anything with that? No, it doesn't seem to be. How bizarre. First scanning where there might be things to scan so we don't waste the last scan. Alright, so there's a thing here mostly. No, we didn't find it. Okay, I guess we can train willy lily now. Reapers eluded. Only found a little bit something. We are gonna have to get back here and explore at some point. I found something. Okay, already a bunch of angry reapers. That's not good. Carfolk is considered a bargain world given to the Krogan to placate them because no one else wants to live in such a frozen rock. Technically, life bearing. <laughs> Bring world problem has a small farm belt. Okay. Profian device, excellent. Uh, 
extra fuel. Okay, well, that was a dangerous bit of exploration. Now on to the abyssal shriek uh, fun stuff. Yeah, I guess that's only 50%, but it's a start. Okay, no more scanning here, as we already seem to have uh, discovered all of it. So Kizil and Korthrok are not fully explored yet. Let's have some looks. Hashok! There it is! That's where we can do the epic rescue uh, thing of the Vorcha people. Yes, let's do it! So to, to this tour of Vorta Falls. You can make your own hashtag. Uh, you can make your own hashtag in two steps. Take hell at Vorta. Plant has highly volcanic activity. Okay, so it's a very unpleasant place, but uh, that's just what we need. Okay, here becomes another tax adventure. As the shuttle begins its descent, you receive a static-laden radio message from Dr. Radentar, chief researcher of Project Hallion. It warns you that the enemy has deployed turrets that have shut down several fighters. You would uh, be prefer to take a direct frontal assault, but this new information forces you to take a stealthier approach. Instead, Cortez drops you somewhere in the Nashkral Mountains, a range of gargantian obsidian peaks. Renowned for its sinewy predators that hunt there. Fun! From here on, it doesn't take long to climb up to the Bacterius Mountain Path and arrive on the eastern end of the fighter base. On the landing pads are two enemy groups. One gang of Forge are rigorously attempting to claw open the doors, while the other is setting up crude, uh, a second crude turret. Biggest concern lies with the turret, and so you open fire. The battle follows. Uh, fo that follows this is, vis is vicious, but eventually you stand triumphant over the enemy! By your feet, a mortally wounded Vorcha tries to speak with you through red breath, but its voice is too strained. You kneel down and catch the words, but life slips, uh, slips from its grasp before you can hear them. Whatever it had to say, it will never be heard. F the Void Devils start to land as the shuttle arrives. The pilots seem overwhelmed that they are back on solid ground. But uh, you're just glad for a little bit of success before the scientists thank you and you step onto the shuffle to return home. Oh, we didn't even get to have like a, an actual mission or, you know, choices and stuff. That is disappointing. Oh well. Yeah, I think we shouldn't scan here anymore. Guess we'll have a little look at uh, Cold Cock Lock. And then call it a day for the space heroics for today. We pretty much stand only on the galaxy map today. That's an interesting uh, happening. Now this just seems to be a big fiery death ball. If not even Reaper interests, how great. Just enough fuel. Well, that seems like a good point to uh, end this mess on. Join us next time. Well, I don't know. We maybe do more exploration of space or just um, another proper combat mission. We'll see. So till then, bye-bye.